Hello everyone, uh, I am back with an update to the Universal Material Builder and this will be a demonstration video on the new features and how to use it. So when you go under the app preferences, you can see that there is not only Redshift and Arnold, but also V-Ray. For that, I want to give a quick shout out to Guy Michite. Uh, he wrote the interpreter for V-Ray. Uh, it now also supports the new Redshift standard material. So the script will detect your Redshift version and if your Redshift version is newer than 3.51, this is where the new standard material has been released, it will detect it and automatically create the standard material. If you're still working with uh, below 3.5, uh, you don't have to worry, it will create the old material for you as well. All right, so um, I have demonstration objects, the coconut, and um, for that uh, I, I will just drag and drop the textures onto the material builder. You can see that it will detect by the name the channels automatically. Now I added a feature where you can add the plus and add a channel, an empty channel manually. So for example, the roughness channel is missing. So we can just add the roughness channel and then we can uh, select the, the file um, manually uh, or you can just drag and drop it. Just in case you somehow can, cannot drag and drop it, you can always add channels manually. And then let's, for example, let's call that coconut full material and create. Okay, you see now that the material has been created and it's organized and everything is named correctly. Um, you don't have to worry about that. It's also got only one 2D uh, texture placement node um, for all your input files. Sometimes you want to add another file uh, manually. So let's say you have another channel and you add it and you want to, for example, put it into the code color. Now you have these two texture uh, placement nodes. Um, I wrote a little script to just combine them. So uh, you don't have just one, you add it manually later floating around. Um, okay, so then in the last version, you had also the options for the remap textures and ULIM. Um, I will quickly demonstrate that you now have these checkboxes here. You can activate them. Coconut half material and create it. You can now see that uh, this checkbox gives you a remap or a color correction node between each of your file nodes. And this checkbox turned on is activating UDIM. So you can see now that all of these textures, file nodes have UDIM activated. Of course, for, for the coconut, we don't need that now. It's just for demonstration purposes. The rest, like the tag system and the preferences stayed the same, but let me quickly show you what the tags do. So as you might saw that um, the script automatically detects your um, channels. It can do so by the naming of your files. So this one is called diffuse, this one is called roughness. So each of your channels has, has different tags in here. So uh, the tags manager, you can set, for example, your roughness map is always called um, something like uh, hello, for example. Uh, and now you can change the tag. And now if we have a texture called hello, and we remove this roughness for a second, and now drag and drop the hello in here, and you can see that it recognized mm. the coconut chunk hello onto your uh, roughness channel. Uh, this helps to fit the script, your needs and your naming conventions, uh, so it stays quite easy to use. 
All right, uh, I think that's about it. Um, feel free to give me uh, any kind of feedback, um, write any kinds of reports and feature requests. Now that we have this toolbar down here, we can also add smaller tools to it, when, which might help you to stay organized in your materials you create. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope uh, you like it and you can download it for free in the description below. Goodbye.